Number 13. Complete each of the following equations by adding the missing pieces. And then we have this kind of balanced equation here, where we have an atom of aluminum with an atomic mass of 27 and an atomic number of 13 coming together, so plus a helium atom, right? Four on the top, two on the bottom. And that's going to transform into two pieces here. We need to find out what this uh, question mark is. So, um, in order to do that, let's erase this question mark, right? Because nobody wants that. Boom, it's not even there anymore. And let's put in our um, notations, right? So, usually with all of these, you have some bigger letter. In this case, we see aluminum and, whoop, we see aluminum and helium and an N, which is a neutron. And then you have those numbers that are on the top and the bottom. So that's basically what we have to find out. We have to find out all three components of this guy. All right. Now, when we're doing this, think of this yield sign as an equal sign. And let's just focus in on the top numbers. And what I'm going to do actually maybe, oop, hold on, I don't want to do that. But let's just erase this. And let's put a different color down at the bottom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to focus in on the top numbers, right? So let's see. We got a 27 coming together. So plus a 4 equals something plus 1. Let's write that down on you know, on the sheet of paper, well, on the computer screen, right? So we got all the top numbers, and we do the tops at one time, and we do the bottoms at another time. So let's see, we're going to say 27 plus 4 equals, well, we don't know what that is, so we're going to leave it as x, right? x plus 1. And all we got to do now is just solve for x, right? And maybe we'll say that this is the top. So 27 plus 4, what is that? 27, 31, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yep, I just did that on my hands. Not ashamed. X plus 1, solve for X. We're going to minus 1 from both sides. And let's see what we get. X equals 30. So we know that the top number has to be a 30. Now let's work on the bottom. So let's get the new color. Let's get the yellows. And we're going to say 13 plus 2 equals this number plus 0. So let's write it down. We got 13 plus 2 equals something plus 0. So literally, plus 0 just means get rid of it, right? Goodbye. And 13 plus 2 is 15. So 15 is my number on the bottom, so I'm just going to write that down. The last piece of the puzzle is to find out who this element is. And just know that it's always going to be the bottom number that is going to get you there. Remember, the bottom number is the atomic number. And all of those are unique for each individual atom. So all we got to do now is go on our periodic table and find out who has the atomic number 15. And it's all the whole numbers. Don't look at those decimals. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking at those big, nice whole numbers. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we're going to try to find the one that has 15. And that's this guy. Whee! 15 is capital P, phosphorus. And that is your final answer. And I guess, I mean... I guess we can color this in like that, right? Boom. And that's it. Hope this helped. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. It's nothing more than just adding the top, adding the bottom, and seeing what you get. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And we opened up memberships for this year. We got tons of new stuff coming out this year for you guys. And I'm so happy to be with you guys, teaching you and you know, getting the good grades that you guys want. So if you want to become a member and you want a little bit more perks, check it out, all right? Um, I will talk to you soon, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.